they don't if they have some time just to play and be kids right without supervision and, and to figure it out because you know they know what's wrong or right if you tell them those things and you know impress upon them and and give them a chance to make their own mistakes so so you think that the school system is really uh not from your experience from when you were in the school system you don't feel that or or, or both then and now it's not a real problem uh, i don't know about now i i really don't know it seems when i look at what people are doing with their kids it seems like they always got something scheduled <laughs> so and i know i mean we had my parents were good they kept up with us but it didn't seem like we had everything scheduled all the time. You know, we went fishing with our parents, but you know, it wasn't the kind of stuff I see people doing with their kids today. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's hard to tell when you yeah. when you're when you're removed from the school system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, Robin, what do you think? Let me let me see if I can if you're look, you're muted here. Uh, no, I'm I'm here. I, I'm okay. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um I don't know. I think I I was always I was always bullied and everything in school, and I never really did school very well. I went out and fly ditch school and flew kites. <laughs> but I can see this whole thing now, where it does seem like parents months out have everything scheduled for their kids. And I would yeah. say the more affluent, the more you know. The, the more well, whatever type of um, you know family they are if they're if they're the poorer people usually don't have all that going for their kids it's usually just the, the real organized you know especially the more higher income they have or influence you the more they've got their kids on some sort of a schedule of months on down the road where every single day they got something planned for them and I think it depends on the parent too you know my mm-hmm. my kid we Tried to homeschool him, and I he did a little bit of homeschooling, but he probably should have done more. And you know, you should go that route, and and kids end up just playing video games and and uh, not doing enough schoolwork. And that's probably what's happening now with this whole uh, lockdown too. The kids are probably home playing video games, and <laughs> you know, yeah. are you are you doing a lot of online teaching, Ron? For for um. For the kids that aren't aren't going to with this, let me see if I got you. I have to ask to unmute. I think you have to click your unmute, Ron. Oh, there you go. No. Um, no, I don't do any online uh, education. Um, I do a lot of content building for um, for kids to receive information online. Um, and I build curriculum that can be um, that has aspects that can be delivered online, but um, but I'm not in a situation where I have a uh, where I have any online students. Um, for years, I taught English online. Um, Dang, dropped so Students in different countries all over the world. Um, so. I have, a, I have a lot of experience with it when it was Skype. This is before we 